Okay guys, so another potential airdrop that I am going to share with you today is no other than the alt layers. But what are the testnet tasks that we are about to do? So if you want to find out guys, well, keep watching. Got a monster inside of me. You better watch out if your enemies are road ahead of full proxy. To be the greatest beast the world has ever seen. I feed him every day like the bones clean. I feed him all the hate and he grows me. And he gets caught real big pissed off quick. And if you cross him, you might drop dead. Metaphorically, of course, said a little or never getting bored. Loves the blood and go and always wanting more freedom from the source. So GM everyone, this is Nomad Fury. So before we begin, kindly acknowledge the disclaimer that I have right here in this video and in the description as this is only intended for educational and informative purposes, just to be fair and transparent to all. So I am not promoting any financial or investment advice. And since this is just a potential airdrop, so I do not offer any promises or guarantees here. So in other words, play safe and participate at your own risk. Well, let's not waste time. So it's time to get to work. All right, guys. So um, this is what we we're talking about. The alt layer in which they are building in the Web3 without any limits at all. So just simply head over to alt layer.io. So we can build and scale powerful Web3 applications at a fraction of the cost with odd layers rolled up as a service tool. So in other words, it's RAAS. And speaking of that, they have an RAAS day, which schedules on the June 22nd. So you want to read more about here. So you can see that they have an elastic scaling, no code framework, decentralized sequencers, and is multi-chain and of course you can build tokenize game transact and grow okay and if you're thinking about building your own chain so uh, you need to ask yourself of these questions like should i choose an app or a layer one or how can i get the best of app chains in layer ones and are my needs short or long term or do i have a technical know-how okay so you could join um, their community and explore the docs for you to learn some in-depth information regarding out there and you can see some of their stories uh in the blog and the other um, resource links right here guys in the lower right section um you can see their official social media channels now let's move on with the testnet task so how do we get started so right here in galaxy so um they have some ongoing campaigns here such as the out there altitude phase one multi-sequencer and the alt layer altitude phase two which is the beacon layer and roll up staking but first things first guys um let's focus on the alt layer phase one which is the multi sequencer so this is the one guys uh, make sure that you have switched to polygon mainnet for you to claim uh, this out okay and you can see that their claimable period is until july 3rd of 2023 8 gmt for you to get one alt, so you need to complete all of this task, okay? But of course, we want to focus on the basic technical side to complete this um, testnet task on the alt layer. Because um, if you're going to retweet something like that or do it a social task, so it's kind of easy. But for the testnet, so uh, this is something that I want to focus. So it's all about depositing and withdraw Sepolia at to and from the alt layer testnet via rollup bridge. So before you're going to um, do this, make sure that you have some enough Sepolia F on your MetaMask. So just in case that you don't have any Sepolia yet, so we go right here, guys. So for the Sepolia F, guys, um, there's no need for you to have a maintaining balance of at least 0 0.001 minute Ethereum unlike in GoErdy. So all you have to do is to copy and paste your MetaMask address here, and then you just have to complete the CAPTCHA. So it's time for us to do this task via the roll-up bridge. So this is the one, guys. Okay. Now make sure that you have your MetaMask installed and connected and switch to the Sepolia network. And you must choose Ethereum. Let's say I want to do 0.1 as a test. And then we just have to click Deposit. So my MetaMask will pop up like this. So it says the uh, network is busy. Okay. So um, all you have to do is to confirm. And we just have to wait until the transaction is completed. And of course, um, you can see that deposit was initiated. But uh, we have to wait until the progress is at 100%. Okay, so it says deposit finalized. So we go back home. Now, my updated balance is at 3.39 Ethereum. Okay, now that we are done with the deposit, it's time for us to withdraw. 
So I hover my mouse right here on the withdraw. So for the withdraw, guys, uh, we need to switch to multi sequencer test at L2. So I am going to do it. So this is the one, the multi sequencer test net. So if you have no clue on how to set it up, don't worry. I provided the details right here on the video description. I switch network. And you see, guys, that it's updated. Now all I have to do is to withdraw. However, guys, I cannot withdraw all of it because it requires for me to pay the gas fees in the multi-sequencer test at L2. So maybe I should go for like 0 0.09. And then we just click withdraw and let's see what happens. So my MetaMask will pop up. And of course, this is the fee. So I click confirm and we just have to wait until the withdrawal process is completed. So when it comes to the withdrawal details, so um, there are some stages here, guys, okay? We need to make it 100% for the withdrawal progress to be fully completed. So it would really take a while. So yeah, uh, I'll be right back. A few moments later. Okay, after a few minutes of waiting, so it says switch to Sepolia. So I'm going to do that right now. So we switch network. And then we finalize the withdrawal. So I'm going to do it. So uh, my MetaMask will pop up once again. So I confirm and we just have to wait again until we finally get to the finish line. So you see that the withdrawal process, um, it takes much longer than the deposit. <laughs> the transaction is confirmed. So yep, it says completed. So I go back home. So my updated balance is at 3.48 Ethereum in the Sepolia network. Now let's head over back to the galaxy. So as um, you can see right here guys, um, it says manually updated by the curator. So it means to say that if you're going to click the verify, so um, this is the message, okay? Now the next thing to do is to deposit and withdraw ERC20, MSCQ, and to and from the outlayer testnet. And if you may wonder guys, um, where could you get this MSCQ tokens to proceed with the task? So they have an outlayer faucet here. So all you have to do is to enter your wallet address and then once you click the claim, the MetaMask will pop up for you to confirm the transaction. So once everything is confirmed, this MSCQ tokens will be transferred directly to your MetaMask wallet. And take note that you can request every 15 minutes for this one, okay? Now let's go back to the bridge. So it's actually the same process but this time instead of Ethereum, we switch to the multi-sequencer test token. So remember about the first task that I have shown you. So it's quite the same, but the difference is that you are transferring MSEQ instead of the Sepolia F. Let's say I want to do the max, the 10. You see that we need to approve it first, okay? So I click approve, and then it says right here, custom spending cap. So I'm going to use max. And then I just click next. So you see the gas fee. So I approve. And let's see what happens. Okay, so um, it says confirm transaction. Now once it's approved, so all you have to do is to deposit. You see guys, in the Sepolia app, there is no approve button. But for the MSEQ, there is an approve button before we deposit. Now it's time for us to deposit. So I click on it and then my MetaMask will pop up. So once again, the network is busy. So I just have to confirm. Transaction is confirmed. But of course, um, just like uh, in the previous task. So this won't take long. Okay, so it says deposit finalized. So we go back home. Now, same process, guys. We need to withdraw it. Okay, I'm going to switch to multi-sequencer test at L2 first. So we switch network. And then once we do that, we select a token that is the multi-sequencer test token. So I'm going to enter the same amount to withdraw. I click withdraw and my MetaMask will pop up once again. So yep, this is the gas fee. So I confirm. Okay, so um, just like in the previous one, this would take a long while. A few moments later. Okay, so it says uh, ready to withdraw. So I switch to Sepolia. So I'm going to do it. All right, so it says finalize withdrawal. Okay, so yep, we're going to pay once again for the gas fee. Okay, so it says a confirmed transaction. That's how we do it for this task. 
now that we are done here so the next thing that we need to do is to deposit and withdraw erc721 ms nft to and from the alt layer testnet now the question is how could we get the ms nft so this is the one guys so um we can mint up to 10 ms nfts so i am going to do 10 okay so since this is the max so we need to mint the free nft so here we go okay my metamask opens so make sure that it's under the sepolia network so i click confirm okay so it says confirm transaction we go back to the bridge guys so it's the same process guys but this time we're going to focus on the multi-sequencer test NFT in which I have updated it. So, yep, I have minted all of them. And of course, guys, we need to select an NFT ID. So, for instance, let's say I want to do this. So, instead of the numbers, we are actually selecting some NFT IDs to be deposited. All you have to do is to approve it first. Okay, so my MetaMask pops up. Okay, so we approve it. So, it says you're granting access. I approve okay so the transaction is confirmed so next we deposit so my metamask pops up so we confirm all right uh, just like in the previous one so this won't take long okay so it says deposit finalized so we go back home this time we need to withdraw but first we need to switch to multi-sequencer testnet l2 so we switch and then we select the multi-sequencer test nft and then select an nft id and then we just click uh, withdraw so my metamask pops up so we pay the gas fee once again okay so the transaction is uh, confirmed so once again this would take a while all right one eternity later okay so um it's ready to withdraw so i uh, switch to sepolia so i switch network and then we finalize the withdrawal so um this one pops up once again we pay the gas fee okay so it says transaction is confirmed now we go back home now we check all the tokens once again so um, you can see guys that both of them are back at 10 okay now if we go back to the galaxy so um for this one guys this will be manually updated by the curator but for the retweet so um it's just easy guys okay so let's head over to the next one which is the phase two so this is the one, the Alt layer Altitude Phase 2 Beacon Layer and Roll Up Staking. So um, the deadline is on July 3rd of 2023, GMT plus 8, okay? Now um, you could see that some of the tasks here um, I've already completed. And uh, this one's right here for the retweet, um, it's just easy, but we need to focus on staking on the Beacon Layer and stake on the Roll Up Staking Portal. If you go right here guys, so it says... Stake and delegate all tokens to Beacon Validator on Beacon Testnet Network. And take note that both of these tasks will be updated manually by the curator. So this is not approved instantly after you completed all of these tasks. Just for you to be aware, okay? Now, in order for us to have these alt tokens on the Beacon Testnet Network, so we need to access their faucet. And this is the one, guys, you know, for the Beacon Layer Faucet. However, I have already claimed my token. So, yeah, we'll try again in 24 hours. So, once again, I don't need to explain how the faucet works. So, you just need to copy and paste your wallet address and then complete the CAPTCHA and just click Submit. And then your tested tokens will just be sent to your wallet, okay? Assuming you already have the alt tokens on the Beacon Tested Network. So, this is where we are going to go, guys. So this is the one guys, so just in case you didn't know how to set up your Beacon Tested Network, so don't worry, the details are just right here in the video description. Now um, you can see that I am in the wrong network, so I need to switch to the Beacon Layer, okay? So I'm going to do that, alright, it says Beacon Layer, and then my MetaMask pops up, so I just have to switch. There we go, Um, you can see that I already have the 6 alt. What are we going to do guys is that we manage the delegations, okay? Let's say we select a validator. So make sure that when you're going to select a validator, um, the rooms are not full for the delegations, okay? Now, um, for example, uh, maybe I should go for like this one. And then you could see that the minimum delegation amount is 1.0023 something, okay? Now, assuming I want to do 1.01, so once I set it, it says, delegation takes effects immediately but takes two rounds for rewards. Now, 
I am going to delegate, guys. And then my MetaMask pops up like this. And then I just have to pay in alt. So this is under the testnet. So I click confirm. The transaction is confirmed. So um, you can see my, my delegations, okay? This is what we do for the first task in the phase two. Now we go to the second task. It's all about staking on the roll-up staking portal. So it says, take and delegate wrap Ethereum tokens to node operator on roll-up staking portal. So these are the details. So all I have to do is to go to this site. And this is how it looks like. So I need to connect e-wallet to proceed. So I choose MetaMask. Okay, so I need to switch from Beacon Layer to Sepolia. So I switch network. Now it's time for us to select a node. You can choose any node that we wanted to. For example, we want to Alpha. So since we don't have wrap Ethereum, so we need to swap our Ethereum to wrap Ethereum on the Sepolia testnet. So you can see right here in the alt layer documentation. So we scroll down. If we want to swap our Ethereum to wrap Ethereum tokens, so we need to head over to this link. So I'm going to do it. All right, so we need to connect our wallet first. So we choose the MetaMask, guys. And this is the one. Now we need to swap our Ethereum to wrap Ethereum. So for example, maybe I will just do like 0.1. And then uh, we deposit. So uh, we need to pay the gas fee. Okay, so it says transaction confirmed. Now we have 0.1 wrap Ethereum. Now let's head back. So you see that my balances are updated. So I can now stake some wrap ethereum so assuming i want to do the max and then i just click approve so this is the one spending cap so i need to do the max so i click next so i just have to approve this first so approved transaction is pending and we just have to wait for now okay so the transaction is confirmed it's time to stake. So I click this one. So again, I have to pay the gas fee. So I confirm. So the transaction is confirmed. That means to say that my stake balance is updated. And you could see uh, my uh, unclaimed rewards, all right, in RSRT. So we can just um, claim it later on. So yes, uh, we are done with the phase two. I am not sure if there will be a uh, phase three on this one, okay? But hopefully, guys, that um, you have enjoyed learning on how are you going to complete this uh, task for Outlayer in which um, they're going to do a, a potential airdrop. But at least I have shown you about um, completing this testnet task in the Outlayer for both the Phase 1 and the Phase 2. But of course, just a reminder, guys, that I am only speculating a potential airdrop for out there so it means to say that i'm not offering any promises or guarantees if the airdrop is going to happen it may or may not but time will tell um let's just see then at least i've shared you guys regarding out there especially its airdrop test task from phase one and phase two in galaxy in which this is going to be one of those big potential airdrops in the future so if you want more details, guys, I have provided all of the source links right here in the video description. So I would really appreciate some honest feedback from you guys regarding uh, this video of mine, whether if it's positive or negative, or if you have some concerns, questions, or clarifications that were not covered in this video. Just leave them right here in the comment section and I would try my very best to answer them for you. But it's highly recommended that you should head over to the official social media channels of Outlayer and engage with the real admins and mods out there to potentially answer your queries. And if you think that this video is quite helpful and valuable to you, kindly do not hesitate or think twice in sharing this to your friends out there, especially those who are still enthusiastic regarding airdrops, testnets, DeFi, and so much more. So I do have a question for you. Did you enjoy watching this video? Has this video helped you a lot and gives value in any way? And what do you think about it? Just let me know right here in the comment section. So once again, this is Nomad Fury and I'll see you all on my next video.